Hello, it's Bibi Cameron here, and today I'm going to show you how to make bows with the bow builder punch from Stampin' Up! I'm going to use Confetti Celebration Designer's Paper, which is a double-sided paper and is a stunning quality. Well, this bow has five tails in one, two, three, four, five loops. So all I have to do now is grab my bow builder punch from Stampin' Up! This is my Stampin' Up! punch and every time I punch I get one die cut from each part of the bow so I need to punch five times Now I'm going to get this organized. We need five loops. And here we have the tails. I'm not going to use this ones and this little part here. To make this bow, I just need the tails in the loops. So with my bone on or a scoring tool, I just try to give shape to the paper or to these loops. Just like that. And with glue, I'm going to use glue, I just paste all the pieces together. You can also use glue dots or a glue gun, but I found easier to make it this way. And I also help myself using these metal paper clips to hold the pieces together while the glue dries. And I really like the results because in that place when I'm attaching the clip, the paper gets a flat shape and that's very convenient because after pasting the tails just like I'm doing here, one on top of each other, I will need to paste the loops and I need those intersection parts or the, those little edges in the center of the loops and need them to be flat. I just finished pasting the tails Better and going to remove the clip. I'm making this in real time so as you can see the glue dries quickly and now all we have to do is just paste all the loops together one in top of each other just like I'm doing here this is very easy and this is everything we have to do with them the bow is finished and the next step is just embellish with something I'm using a stamping up lining thread and a little yellow bottom I thread the lining thread through the bottom just like that and all I have to do is make sure that the edges of the thread are even, so my bow are going to be even too. And I just tie a bow like that, just making sure that the loops are same size, and I just trim the excess thread. And I'm going to use glue to paste the bottom in the center of that bow and we are finished. That's how I make bows with my bow builder punch from Stampin' Up! This is a bow with a lot of loops, but there are another kind of projects you can make with the bow builder punch and I'm going to show you some of them right now. Well, it's not a secret that you can make another kind of bows with the bow builder punch because that's what it's designed for. Uh, depending on the paper and depending on the way you paste the tails, the bows are going to look completely different. I just want to show you that. And 
Um, I was playing with the punch for a while and I'm going to show you some draft projects. They are not perfectly done. I just was playing with the inks and I'm trying to give shape to the little die. So I made these butterflies and these flowers. And I just tried different papers and I even made this fish. Uh, I know the fish is a kind of, it's not appealing, but could be cool for some funny card. And I miss this flower. I just found also that with this sponge, this little part here, I can make leaves or foliage that could be good to embellish any paper craft project like cars or wreaths or um, flower bouquets, paper flowers or things like that. I have made a couple of cards with these butterflies just to show you how they look like. And this is how they look like. <laughs> um, they were very, very easy to do. I think you already know how to make them, but I still posted my tutorial in the next couple of days so you can have a look. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and happy crafting. Bye.